Hey guys, I'm back again with a brand new video for you all. And today we'll be talking about the best teams that we can use for the Halloween Cup as Halloween Cup is starting from tomorrow alongside with Great League Remix. Now we'll be talking about the rankings before we'll be talking about the best teams and we will be making teams from all the meta mons like all the top 10 mons and some of them are going to be a little crazy, a little wild teams. So yeah, without any further ado, let's start the video. So talking about the rankings, there we go. Damn, Clotsire number one and Clotsire number two. One with Stone Age, one with Sludge Bomb. And yep, a lot of the things that are actually uh, banned in Great League Remix are <laughs> allowed in this uh, Halloween Cup, like Clotsire and Azumarill and Greninja even and Drapion and Mandibuzz. All these are not going to be in Great League Remix, but in Halloween Cup. So if you want to use these mods, then just play a Halloween Cup, right? And there you go, one and two Clotsire. Carbink number three and two waters there, Greninja and Azumarill, one fairy, one dark in the four and five. And another water is number seven, Quillfish there. This is Hisui with Aquatil and Ice Beam. And Glaring Weezing Shadow variant is number six. Drapion Shadow is eight. Golok Shadow is nine. And Mandibuzz is ten. Those are the top tens. And 11 and 12, again, Weezing and Drapion norm normal version. Right then we got A9. A9 is a little nine tails and AWAC. AWAC is a little Marowak. Right, these are gonna. And there we go. Here we go. It's interesting. Clef Key is number 16 in the meta, according to PVPoke.com. Damn. Player off and foul play. Ashton. Wow. Look at that coverage. Player off and foul play. It's gonna do against good against those of uh, like a dark types and. A lot of the things and foul play is gonna do good against a lot of the uh, things like AWAC and Drape, uh, like Golark, Golark and AWAX. And player off is gonna do good against Mandibus. And Goslord is also gonna be in the meta, so Klefki is looking good and it also deals good against poison. You know why? Because of its typing, right? And yeah, these are the, uh, the rankings. There's Dosnor, all nine tails, Shadow is 23, normal is like uh, 13. Toxapex is 17, Sableye Shadow is 18, Shadow with Power Gem. And if you're running Purified, then you should run uh, Return is also a very good move. Malamar is 25, Overquill is 27, G Moltres is 28, and we'll be making team with both G Moltres and the Mandibuzz, the Dark Flyers, right? And there is more, uh, 29, Rooney Rig is 30. So these are the basically 30. There we got another uh, other uh, poisons like as well like Needle Queen and there goes Salazel is 39, Clefable is 36. So this is looking like, uh, yeah, pretty decent. But there are gonna be a lot of the familiars from the Great League Open meta like Carving, Greninja, Azura, Clotsire, Weezing, Trapion, Golurk, Mandibuzz. Everything is gonna be there, right? So yeah, let's move forward. To the into the teams there. The team number one is going to be Greninja and Double Poison. That is Clotsire and Toxapex at the back. Now there's four typings in this team. That is Water, Ground, Poison, and Dark, and covers pretty much a lot of the things, right? And backline is going to be weak against the grounds because backline is poison. Grounds like Golurks, right? There are going to be other others as well. And Greninja can handle that pretty well in the lead. This is ABB for those, and also ABA Water. And there aren't going to be any electric Pokemon, right? But even if there is going to be any Trailblaze users, Toxapex is still poison, right? So that is going to be give you some good coverage. Now, something like Azumarill, if you see it in the lead, you can just swap into one of your poison. And then a Galarian Weezing, you can just stay with your uh, 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 Greninja or swap into one of your backline, right? If there is Mandibuzz, you can just stay with your Greninja. Mandibuzz and Greninja is like uh, kind of good because uh, Hydro Cannon is so spammy, right? And Mandibuzz need, gonna need a lot of those area laces. And well, you're, you're still gonna need a lot of Hydro Cannons, but it's still fine. And yeah, Drapions, it can handle that as well. Uh, Greninja is looking really, really good in this cup. And something like Alolo Ninetales, uh, Witch Charm is fine because we got uh, Poison Double Poison at the back. But with, uh, like, all right. If it's uh, Powder Snow, then it's going to be a little difficult for Clotsire. But Greninja can handle that if it's Powder Snow. Hydro Cannon is spammy with Water Shuriken, right? That's how it's going to go. And look at that Grimer. Grimer, Shadow, Grimer is uh, Excel. Grimer is rank 15. That is 
pretty interesting. And yeah, this team's got pretty much a lot of the coverage. That's team number one. Let's move on to another one. Team number two is going to be Toxapex and Double Dark. That is Gauzlord and Mandibuzz at the back. Now, both backline is going to be weak against Fairy. There are going to be Fairies like... Um, Wigglytuff and Azumarill's right, the backline is weak against those, Toxapex can do good against that. But something like G Weezing, Glaring Weezing, it's gonna be a little team play against that, and, but you can still manage that with your, uh, if you find in your lead with your Toxapex, you can just stay. That's how you're gonna play with this team against those, right? And something like Golark, if you find Golark in the lead, then with your Toxapex, you can swap into your Gauzlord, and you got a Flyer at the back, the Manibus, right? And yeah, this team completely destroys things like Little Marowak, right? And yeah, something like Thought Sire, then you can just swap. Thought Sire is pretty neutral with the back line, right? But Thought Sire is ground, so Toxapex is poison, so that is a little bit of uh, team play needed there. But yeah, it can be really, really handy, but it's also water, and Thought Sire is also ground, right? So that's how it's gonna go. This team is looking pretty fine and pretty strong and yeah something like frost slice if it's in the frost slice in the lead then you can just go for the brines like it's poison versus ghost but frost slice can beat both your backline that's how it's gonna be but both backlines with shields are dark pokemon and frost slice is go ghost that's how you're gonna play and that's how team play is needed for some of those core breakers right and yeah greninja if it's in the lead you can just stay uh ghost lord can beat greninja very good right yeah, uh, pretty much covers a lot of the things this team. And if I have, may have missed so something, then you can just comment, right? So let's move on to another team. It's going to be team number three, Azumarill and Carbink and uh, G-Wizzing. Now, this is like a triple fairy, but think about the poison damage. Poison damage are going to be super effective against only Azumarill, right? So that's how this team is going to go. Triple Fairy. But yeah, it's got a lot of coverage. Rock there. Even uh, Psychic. Uh, well, Fairy, Poison, uh, Rock, and Water. That's the coverage of this uh, team. Right? And can handle a lot of things. Like if you find Alone Marowak, just you can, that's so great. And if you, even if you find Carbrink in the lead, you can just stay. Clotsire, you stay. Against Clotsire, it's going to be a little difficult for your backline. Right? With Ice Beam, you can just stay in the lead with your uh, Azumarill, and you can, if it's not in the lead, you can just bait out the Cloth Sire with safe swapping into one of your Pokemon. And again, the Golark can destroy the backline, but Azumarill is good against Golark with Bobble and Ice Beam, right? You can just stay ABB for those things. That's how you're going to play with this team. And yeah, pretty much looks uh, very good for me, even if it's like all three typings same, but it's, it's like, it looks good to me. And let's move on to another team. It's going to be team number four, uh, Frostlass, G Weezing, and Guzzlord. Well, G Weezing is very tall, so I had to keep Frostlass a little bit on the side there. But yeah, I don't think it matters much. So Frostlass, and it's going to be Weezing and Guzzlord. Now, this team looking pretty, pretty, pretty strong. Now, some things, right? Some things like Alolo Marowak. Like if it's alone Marowak in the lead with your Frost Lance, then you gotta swap into your G Weezing. Well, G Weezing, uh, even if it's Fairy and Mar Marowak is like Fire, you got Brutal Swing coverage, right? So it can be a safe swap against a Marowak lead. And you got Gauzlord that can do pretty good against, very good against Marowak. That's how this team is built. And something like Greninja. Now Greninja is gonna be a little bit difficult for Frostlance, but you got Gauzlord at the back. So you can safe swap your G Weezing, and G Weezing is fairy, Greninja is dark, right? That's how it's gonna go. And with this team, you need a team combination play for things like Azumarill, right? But you got Shadow Ball there in your uh, Frostlance, and yeah, you can like just stay. Right, just stay and do some team plays, do some here and there's for Azumarill. Other than that, it's pretty good. Like, right, look at that. G Weezing is weak against grounds and Frost Lassie's ice. Right, that's how the steam is gonna go. And yeah, this can it can do pretty well. Like uh, something like, okay, are we missing something? I don't think we're missing something here. Well, if it's Alolo Nine Tails in the lead, then you gotta stay because you got Gauzlord at the back. Uh, even if it's got charm or powder snow, you gotta stay with your frost last. And yeah, that's pretty much it with this team. Let's move on to another one. It's gonna be team number five, Golurk and Wiggly and A9. 
and double fairy you can run charm in your a9 as well that's gonna be wild go 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 lark and double charm is gonna be like <laughs> wild crazy but you can run power snow for coverage you know uh, plus uh, if uh, if there's something like uh, Golark against like Golark is weak against Mandibuzz and both the backline can destroy Mandibuzz right and yeah that's pretty much it uh, against Azumarill you can safe swap into your A9 that's how you're gonna play right and you can also run Psyshock in your uh, A9 the graphic is showing Dazzling Gleam Alright, and you can also run Dazzling Gleam, no problem. If it's Cloud Sire, then you can just stay in your uh, lead with your Golark. Backline is weak against Poison, right? And you got a ground off front. That's how this team is played. ABB weak to Poison, and against Poison, Golark does pretty well, right? Mod Slap is gonna do good. If you got Shadow Golark, that's even better. Run Shadow. Shadow is number 9 in the rankings, as you can see on the screen. And yeah, something like Quillfish is gonna be a little bit difficult, but uh, yeah, Poison against Mod Slap is again Mod Slap wins that right that's how this team is gonna go let's move on to another one it's gonna be team number six azumarill golark and malamar and there is the entry for malamar <laughs> in this video now uh yeah this team like uh azumarill is weak against what poison backline is psychic and ground that's how it's simple simple as that right that's nothing like nothing fancy to understand nothing great to yeah you know uh, tougher to know it's just abb for, for poison typings right and backline is weak against mandibuzz uh, azumarill is there in the lead to handle that and backline can be weak against greninja as well but azumarill is there azumarill is fairy greninja is dark and yeah that's how it's gonna go this team is looking really good and balanced let's move on to another team it's gonna be team number seven now this is a wild team g weezing and double dark flyers g moltres and mandy boss this looks pretty well pretty good now yeah that's uh, pretty good. poison in the front and fairy in the front and dark and flying coverage at the back deals against a lot of the things need a lot of team play and uh, if you find Azumarill in the lead, Azumarill can core break, but Azumarill uh, can be beaten by G Weezing and a little bit of a team play. That's how it's gonna go. Alright, and yeah, this team covers pretty much a lot of things. Safe swap is gonna be Mandibus for ev almost every time because you need that Brave Bird closer in your G Moltres. And look at the top 15 ranking. Except for one Pokemon, nothing resists Brave Bird right except for carving that is rock and there's gonna be klefki it's a steel right and yeah that's gonna be pretty much it this team is looking really really good i might try this team but you know what i don't have g moltres glare moltres never i've caught it i've never seen it in my it's not even entered in the pokedex it's so sad damn i'm gonna get emotional let's not talk about that all right let's move into another team it's gonna be team number eight a9 and cloud Sire and malamar now again uh, uh if you find a low marowak in the lead and you can save swap into one of the, the one of your backline it's gonna be earthquake stone age user for that a low marowak and you got foul play in your malamar right you got you're a dark and you're a ground at the back that that's gonna do good coverage now if you find uh, a zoomer in the lead with your alone on tails, then you gotta stay you gotta stay because you got a dark type at the back, right? Azumarill is fairy. That's how it's gonna go. And yeah, Clotar is gonna be weak against those ground typers. And all nine tails can do good with that Power Snow and Weather Ball, right? And also with its typing, it's not like it's gonna resist the ground typing. Ice only resists ice, but you gotta do that, right? And yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of uh, good. Now, if you find poison, then you in the lead you can safe swap into either of your backline. That is Clotsar and Malamar. Clotsar is ground. Malamar is psychic. It's going to be good for those poisons. That's how this team is going to roll. Right? Team number nine is going to be, yep, you saw it right. That is Grimer. And Grimer and Double Ice. Frostlass and A9 at the back. Now, Grimer is a poison, but it is also got ground coverage there. Uh, Mud Slap and Mud Bomb. So, backline is going to be weak against those Alonal Marowaks and Carbink, right? So, Grimer can handle that with its movesets and it is also poison so this team's got a lot of coverage it can handle the fairies it can handle the ground types we got ice there it can handle the fires from lead we got ground move there it can handle the fairies we got poison there right it can handle the darks we got 
fairy there and handle the poisons as well with that uh, ghost typing in frost nest and obviously also ground coverage in that uh, grimer yeah this is a pretty good looking team that is if you have excel grammar that is a lot of uh, excel uh, i mean investment in grimer so let's move towards another team it's gonna be team number 10 quillfish and area dos and green ninja now for that with that trailblaze coverage there are gonna be a lot of the water there like azumarill and green ninja right so that's gonna come in handy and quillfish is kind of a Poison type that's got ice and water coverage, or you can say water with ice and poison coverage. So that is why Quillfish is going to be one of the best poison for this. Well, it's not shown in the rankings, but believe me, it's going to be really good with those Aqua Tails. It can also do good against that Cloth Sire, that Carving, right? And Poison Sting, and a lot of the movesets can do good against other fairies right, as well. And yeah, you can spam those aqua cells really fast. Gonna go good against Golark, but Golark Smart Slap is gonna be super effective. We're gonna watch out for that. And with Ice Beam, you can you got coverage for Goslord and Mandibuzz as well, which uh, Goslord can uh, Goslord and Mandibuzz can be good against the backline. So you got Quillfish with Ice Beam there. That's gonna be uh, crucial there, right? It's it's gonna help your backline out. And yeah, this team is. Uh, going to be good and yep that is it guys i hope you like this content and if you like the content please leave like and comment and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet thank you so much guys